A Friday night saw Belmopan police dealing with an unprecedented case in that municipality where the head of a pastor was found inside a bucket in a pickup truck. The discovery was coincidental as Deputy Commissioner Russell Blackett explained that they had no report or suspicion that a murder had been committed. They were merely investigating another case. I must tell you that um, Mr. William Mason, who was found on Friday 15th with the head of the deceased, Mr. Llewellyn Lucas, was being sought for an investigation. I had briefed the HNCIB and the lead investigator looking at a specific case surrounding Mr. Mason when he was spotted 8.30 p.m. Friday in the city of Belmapan. The lead investigator was called in with the QRT from Belmapan. He was located at a bar in the city of Belmapan and when a search was conducted, this is when we uncovered in a sack within a black color bucket, the head of Mr. Lucas. The forensic was called in, the place was cleared off, and an intensive search continued within the area for other evidential value on that scene where this head was found. I must tell you that um, when the investigator arrived, Mr. Mason explained that he could not find his key and he was very nervous. Hence the reason his driver's side window glass was broken, search conducted. During the course of the investigation, we uncovered that four other persons were also involved. And by 4 a.m. Saturday morning, the 16th, all persons were taken into custody. An intensive search of his farm situated at mile 31 on the George Price Highway and his home on the Intelco Hill in Belmapan was searched simultaneously for any evidence we could find. But what I want the nation to understand very clearly is that he was being sought for the purpose of an investigation. You will see while at this time they have been charged for one conk of murder, one conk of kidnapping, conspiracy to kidnapping. There will be other charges flowing through the week on other investigations that had been carried out. During the National Security Press Conference held this morning at the Belize Biltmore Hotel, Blackett explained that the motive is yet to be determined and that burnt remains of a human was found on an equestrian farm at mile 31 on the George Price Highway, believed to be that of Llewellyn Lucas. So far, we understand that there were some transactions been going on between these people. And um, it appears that there was a follow. -up. We are still trying to uncover the final analysis of this before we put it forward to the public. But I must assure you that whenever this is done, you will know the conclusive results. We are also continuing investigating and interviewing other persons as we speak at this time. And I must tell you that whilst we have one count of kidnapping, we are looking at a flow of other possible offenses that have been committed. He had been tracked. He was a person of concern for us, and this is the end result. We are still trying to uncover what is in their mind. You know, criminal minds and in going deep into their heads is, is something else. What we see basically is this guy might have wronged them in some way, and this is why the extent of what occurred occurred. But as I said, we are still investigating, and as soon as we uncover this, the public will know. The equestrian farm is said to be the property of William Mason. Four persons have been charged for Lucas's murder, namely William Alexander Mason, a.k.a. Ted Quillett, 
Ashton Venegas, Terence Fernandez, Ernest Castillo, and Kieran Fernandez. These men came out of the courtroom just over an hour ago with legal representation by Herbert Panton. The news from the courtroom is that the men were not arraigned and the police do not have a tight case. They have breached every imaginable constitutional rights they have. When they were detained at 8.30, these men were taken to the police station. They were stripped of their clothes. They were interviewed from 8.30 at night to 4 o'clock in the morning. They were driven from Belmopan to San Ignacio in the Panama truck, naked. I have been up here on Saturday. It took me nine hours to see my clients. I still did not, was not able to see all of them. Went to Belmopan yesterday. When I finally saw one of my clients, he was in his boxers. So it doesn't matter what kind of new policing measures the department is putting in place. All of that means not if in arriving at an arrest you are going to breach the constitutional rights of individuals. Sir, tell us about the, the identity of Mason. That's, that's the one in question. Could, we, could you talk about that? He goes by several names. Um, um, I have been retained by Mr. Mason. I know of no other aliases or, or identity. As far as that is concerned. So you don't know that he's, he's under investigation? That is sources. neither here nor there for me. As far as I'm aware, that is outside of the jurisdiction of this country. I have no power to deal with those matters. So I, have been detained, I have been retained by Mr. Mason to deal with this particular issue and only that. Okay. Sir, the police officers also found the weapon buried or underneath a pond at Mason's La Democracia farm as well, as no. well as the burnt remains of uh, Mr. Leolin. The police say that to you. They have not. There are tremendous more additional pieces of investigation that needs to happen before they can conclusively come to that conclusion. So that is nothing more than idle gossip at this juncture. The only way they can confirm that is when, um, well the only way I will know of that confirmation is when disclosure is given and I am made aware of those facts. But you can confirm your clients all have been charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, no. or they have not? No, they have not been charged. Okay. I made submissions today. First of all, they came here without any facts and wanted to arraign my clients. I made uh, submissions to the magistrate, um, Ms. John, particularly that the facts that were finally brought on the face of it does not disclose any evidence for murder, conspiracy to commit murder, kidnapping, or conspiracy to commit kidnapping. The prosecutor admitted that the facts do not disclose enough evidence to bring those charges. So, they were not arraigned today. Um, the matter has been adjourned to Belize City, and they have been ordered to be released. So, that is where we stand. So, 2 o'clock tomorrow... Um, the matter comes up again in Belize City. Because apparently they're saying the matter happened at mile 31, so it is in the Belize district jurisdiction. Pastor Lou, as he was mostly called, was well known and had even tried his hand in the political arena when he ran in the Dangriga by election in July 2015 against PUP's Anthony Sabal and UDP's Frank Papa Mena.